Okay then, this might be a bit loud. I hope my noise cancelling has held me down, but if it is not, apologies, the heater is going and I can't stop it. I can't stop it, guys. It's on a thermostat, so if it gets cold, the heater's gonna come on. So we're battling with it. I'm sure it'll click off at some point, maybe, but until then, we're stuck with this noise. If you don't hear anything, congratulate me. My noise cancelling software is, is good shit. You see what I'm saying? All right, anyway. Hello everybody, glad you can make it. Welcome to this video this week. Also, my name is Kaylee Allen. I've never got that backwards. Right, this is a little extra video I'm putting out on my channel because I found a couple of really cute hybrids. I mentioned this on the last video, you may or may not have seen my plant haul, but I've found a couple of cute philodendron hybrids that I just wanna, I just wanna highlight for you. Why not? I have the parents of some of them here, so I can actually show you what makes the plant, but some of them I don't, I'll have to include photos because I don't have everything. I have a reasonable amount though. So it's not a long video. I think I only have three hybrids to show you, but these are three hybrids I've got in within the last month. So that tells me that they're kind of, they're kind of coming, right? There's gonna be stuff like this coming out next year and I'm kind of excited for it. So, so I thought, why wait till spring? Why wait till even next year? I'll just tell you about them now, right? And then we can get our thinking caps on of what plants might, you know, go together that we might want. Right? Right. So, okay. In no particular order, I want to show you some of these plants. So let's start with one that featured in my last haul video. Let me just grab it. Is this guy. This here, I did get you guys to guess in the last video, so I won't give you ages to guess, but I will give you a few seconds to guess what might make this plant. Quick rundown. It has something at the top that would suggest it has come from a heart-shaped parent, and then it has something that is lengthening it it has you can't say this very well i i give you that it does have a little bit of rosy coloring on the back of the leaf and it does have some coloring on the petioles it's not super strong but it's there can you guess what it is tick tock tick tock tick tock this here <gasps> The heat has just gone off, guys. The heat has just gone off. Right, let's go, go, go while it's off. This here is a hybrid of, don't know which way around it is, disclaimer for all of the plants in this video, don't know which way around it is, but this is a hybrid of Philodendron Billeti and Philodendron El Choco Red. Yes, really. I didn't really think that you could cross those. I'll be honest. That kind of surprises me a little bit. Now, there's no velvetiness anywhere in sight. If you know what Billeti looks like, and I'm gonna show you in a minute, Billeti is very leathery, it's very thick. Choco red is much thinner and the leaves have inherited the thinness of the choco red. So they're not thick and leathery. This plant is probably going to be a little bit more delicate. That's the choco coming into it, basically. But how nice is this plant? So I'll just show you up next to my head. My head is not the biggest head at all, but this is sort of, this is the best head test I can do for you. Looking like that. You can see there the heart shape and then it's lengthened as well. Now I'm going to show you this for another second and then I'm going to show you the parents and then I'll probably pick this back up just so you can see. So it's a really, really nice plant. You can and sort of see the coloration coming in from the billeti on the petioles and personally I can really see it in the length of the petioles as well because this is quite quite lengthy I don't know how you describe this but it's quite lengthy in the petiole it's blush but I wouldn't say it was orange I would say there's a tiny hint of orange a little bit of hint of orange a little bit pinkiness there's definitely a tint there and I think you can see it here near my collarbone anyway there is some blush here on the back of the leaf it's not gonna be anything like a philodendron chocolate red for example but it is quite nice now as of filming this i've only just got these in i can't tell you how hardy they are ask me in three months maybe even two months fuck ask me in a month i'll probably tell you but i don't know how hardy these are yet i'm just showing you them they are here here they are. Really nice though. I like these. I didn't get many of these in because I didn't know how they were going to do, but I really, really like them. And I do think these would sell quite nice. Let me know what you think of these. I'm not saying they're anything groundbreaking. I think arguably there's cooler hybrids. There's definitely another one I'm going to show you in a moment that's cool, but I do like it. And I personally, as soon as I saw it, I almost knew what the parents were. You can, I can really see the bill tie in this. And I might not have guessed the heart shape, but I knew it was a heart shaped plant, if that makes sense. But you can nearly always see the bill tie in anything. And one of the plants I'm going to show you, you should definitely see the bill tie in as well. Because there's another plant I'm going to show you that's definitely surprised me, shall we say. But that is him. That is Philodendron bill tie crossed with Philodendron El Choco Red. He's very, very cute. Let me now show you the parents that make him in case you're watching this and you have no idea about the other two plants. 
So, and I realize this is difficult, guys, because it is just little old me here, and I can't really put them together on the screen very much. What I can do is I can drop photos in for you so you can see the parents. So I will show you these plants, and then I will just put photos in at the end there, just so you can really see. But if you can't see, this is Philodendron bilati. This is how it comes. This is what it looks like. So the petioles are very, very orange. We have some lovely sagittate, in other words, arrow-shaped leaves, and they're actually, I don't know if you can tell, this is very sturdy, very leathery. They really hold their own. And the petioles are quite long. You should be able to see that as well. Conversely, we have this guy. This is Philodendron El Choco Red, and I probably will have to put the billy down for this one, I'm afraid. This is El Choco Red. This is the other parent of the plant. I would argue the billy tie is more dominant there, but I, I don't know. Don't know enough about parentage and stuff like that. So Philodendron El Choco Red looks like this on the front. This is dark. It's velvety. There is some veining. And on the back, when new leaves come in, this is an older leaf here, but when new leaves come in, and this is quite a nice one, it's not the best one I've seen, but pretty good, they come in with this amazing colour. I've moaned on about this plant for a long time. I've moaned on about both plants for a long time, to be honest, even the Billetai. So let me get these both up for you on the screen so you can see. Both of these plants individually are great plants, so I think they've made a really cute hybrid there. This is not as tough. Once it's established and you leave it alone, you just water it, you can even underwater it, it's quite fine. The problem comes in this plant in sometimes shipping it, not always, but propagating it is where you get your problems, to be honest. They don't like it. This plant propagates okay. It's not amazing. Ships really well. Sorry, my... <laughs> My um, my ring light has just changed. It's light setting really quick. One moment, please. What on earth? What on earth on earth? Why has it done that? That's weird. Sorry, guys. Is that better? What even happened there? That was the weirdest thing. Something clicked and then it changed. That's really weird. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, this ships well, uh, propagates quite well, generally very sturdy. This is definitely the sturdier parent, so that kind of makes sense as to why you'd use it for some of these hybrids. I mean, look at it. Just on its own, the Billetai is a really, really nice plant. This on its own is a lovely plant. I'm not, not recommending it. It's just, it's a bit, it's a bit tougher. It's, it's so hard to explain. I, I struggle with this plant a lot because it's both easy and tough depending on what you're doing with it. If you plan to get one of these and completely leave it alone, great. Good times. Good times ahead for you. If you actually want to make money off it and propagate it, if you can do it successfully, great. Otherwise, no, I don't think so. But anyway, these are the two parents that go into the other plant. I will hold up the other plant and I will try and put some pictures in for you so you can see again where it's come from. But now I've refreshed your memory on what they look like. You should now be able to see the T of what goes into what. So you've got the elongation, the, I mean, you can't really see it. There is technically a little bit of blush there. Not a lot, but there is definitely some bits there of both. This is, this is the newest leaf and it's obviously come out in shipping, so it's a bit floppy. If anything, when that's getting more mature, actually, it's looking more heart-shaped. I feel like that's actually a bit more narrow than this one. So that might be a really good indicator. I'm going to hold that up a bit more because it's definitely, that nearly is a heart-shaped look. So it's going to be quite interesting that. I would like to see how these grow. And I bet this is a plant where the environment it's grown in is going to change these leaves a lot. So I feel like these plants are going to be very, very variable. But beautiful plant. Wanted to point it out for next year. Not to get from me, obviously, to get from anybody. But I just want to let you know that these exist. And I quite like them. And I do approve of the parentage. Right, the next plant, I can only show you one of the parents because I don't have the other parent here. But this plant, you will have seen before if you've watched some of my reports or hauls, things like that. This plant is wicked. I love this plant. It's very tough. It is very, very tough. And I can only assume that's coming from the parent that I can show you in person today. So this here, I'm not sure you can guess this one. I'm not sure you can guess this one. So it's kind of got long-ish petioles, maybe just average for a, a petioled lengthy philodendron, I would say. It's got something lengthening the leaf more often than not, but there is something producing more of a paddling effect. And it is all green. Is that a bit of pinkiness? So it can be a little bit blush pink when it comes in, but I wouldn't say, sorry, I'm good, protecting my mic. I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about personally. What are you focusing on camera? Do you mind? I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about, but it is there. And I'm literally holding it because it's it's very new and it hasn't really taken shape yet. But it is growing since it's got here. I've had these few weeks now, it's going really well. So anyway, this is, what is it? Again, don't know the order, but it is Philodendron Jose Bono 
crossed with philodendron Sharonii, I do believe. So the Sharonii part you're getting from all the weird rutching. It's almost like a, a Vici kind of rutching. And the length you're getting from Sharonii as well. Again, I will put a photograph basically covering where I am at the moment on what Sharonii looks like. And in a second, I'm going to show you Jose Bono. But Jose Bono is making this a bit wider and a bit more paddly. And certainly the lobes are, I would say they were shorter as well. The ears on the plant are a bit shorter. But let me tell you something. This plant is tough. I've already been raving about this in repots because I left them. They didn't get seen too quick enough when they came in and I repotted them. And they were just, I mean, you saw yourselves. There, there was no leaf drop. There was no nothing. They were just the same. So these are really, really good. And a few of you have asked me about these already. So again, they'll be up next year at some point. But I want to draw your attention to them because they are quite nice. They are different. And I think we're struggling these days to find different. It's not offensive. It's not overly long in the petty like certainly the growth I've had is a lot shorter than the old growth. That could just be because it's been propped from it. But it's quite nice that. I like this. It's jungle vibes, right? The plant I showed you before is less jungly. This one is really, really nice and jungly and I really like this. So that is that. As I say, I can show you one parent. Let me just pop him down. He's so wobbly in this part. I just know he's going to fall over. So I've got one parent to show you guys, unfortunately. I don't have Sharonii. Now I have done in the shop a long time ago. I think I had it. Sorry, I hope my mic is behaving. I had it a long time ago, but when I say a long time ago, I mean literally two or three years ago. And I haven't had it in since because it's not, it's not a plant people really want. Just going to be honest. It's made a beautiful hybrid, but it's not a plant that people really want. A plant that people do tend to want though, happens to be the other parent. And it's this guy. And now this isn't the best example. I have better ones of these. I have a nicer photograph as well of these, which I'll put in right here next to me, right here. And this here is Philodendron Jose Bono. So as you'll notice, really, really narrow, narrow. Uh, shallow lobes here, not a lot going on. The Sharonii kind of brought that back in that hybrid plant, but this has hardly any, so this is taking away from. There is also an inherent variegation like this that comes in. Now this comes in a creamy, whitey, minty color and it fades to green over time. So it can come in like this, very cute. And then it will go down to basically, sorry, I'm having to hide my face, guys. It's not ideal. It will go down to basically nothing over time. They can get much brighter and much prettier than this, but this one's being kept in the dark a little bit. So it's it's not as good as it could look, but it is very, very pretty. So that's one of the parents. And let me tell you, this is strong. This is really strong as well. I can't speak so much for Sharonii. So let me know in the comments whether you find it tough, whether you think this is going to be a good hybrid next year. Let me know. Let's talk about it. As far as this is concerned, I think it is. I think it's a really strong parent. And I can definitely see where it's come into play. I will try and hold these up, but this is so wobbly. It's actually, I'm going to have to take it out of this part. Sorry. This is such a DIY video, <laughs> but there you can see where the lack of lobes are coming in there and affecting this plant here. And obviously this has longer petioles than this. This is very short and stout. This has the lengthening effect that the Sharonii has given it. But I think this is going to make a nice plant. And I can already tell you, I've had this long enough to tell you that it's tough, 100%. The first plant, not so much. This one, mm-hmm. And I can only assume at this point it's coming from this. Maybe Sharonii is tough as nails. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Um, it's a shame it didn't get any of the variegation, but you can't have it all. And I really do, I, I quite like this for what it is. I think it's got nice jungle vibes. And sometimes, you know, simplicity is better. And I say that all the time on this channel if you're new. Yeah, I like variegates. Yeah, really pretty. But so many of my favorite plants are not variegated at all. So I really like him. He might even be my favorite hybrid actually in this video. But let's see what you make of the last one. So I'm going to pop him down right there. Again, apologies for not having that other parent there. But what can you do? I can't have every plant known to man. I think I'd need stopped. I'd need professional help. Right, I've had this guy a lot. So I'm going to put his roots into this part because he's, he's not messing around this guy. Right. This next plant is a hybrid of which I can show you one of the parents. Spoiler alert, you've seen him before. So this plant here, I've had him for a while. I bought it in, ugh, wow, I don't know, months ago, months and months, like six plus months, I think. And I bought him in and he's done so well. I've never dealt with the other parent ever, like literally ever. So I will have to just put it in a photo of the other parent. But this guy here, can I just say, can I just say how tough and strong and robust this plant plant is. So I can only assume that both parents are tough as nails. So if you couldn't tell, I'll give you a moment to uh, to guess one of the parents here, but you can probably see a lovely orange petiole and you can probably see at least some 
length. Now, the thing I said, because I think I guessed not the name of the plant this was hybridized with, because I knew the name of the plant at the time. But when I hold this, I did I hadn't seen the plant it was hybridized with, so I had to kind of guess. And I think I put the picture of the plant up on one side, like after I'd edited it and after I'd guessed. But I guessed that it was obviously, I knew it was Billetai, but I suspected the plant it was crossed with was much shorter and stouter and very, very like chubby petioles, very, very chubby petioles. Not super short and paddly in the leaf, but enough to bring it back. And to be fair, I think that's what Hercules looks like. I still can't remember. I don't think it was super rounded. I still think it had some shape, but it was definitely wider because you can see there the Billetai leaf has been dragged right out. Um, and the whole, the whole affair is just shorter, but, and oh, and the petioles are very chubby, like very chubby, lovely. There's another plant, there's another philodendron that has really, really chubby petioles. Is it literally called like Fat Boy or something? I can't remember. Tell me if you know what it is in the comments, what I'm talking about. There's, there's a few of them, don't get me wrong, but so there's some philodendrons out there and they, they pack they pack in the petiole. But yeah, so anyway, this hybrid, I gotta tell you guys, it's so tough. I, the reason why I took a little bit of time and packing this in here is because there's so much root, it's it's actually crazy. I've had to just push it in and that's definitely the Billetai vibe, but it's just so good. This is a new leaf. It's basically grown without me even asking it to. It's gorgeous. Now I should be able to hold up Billetai at the same time. Again, here, bang, there's Hercules for you, at least the best photo I could find. And this is the Billetai, so I can show you sort of what's come into play there. Needless to say, the Billetai's got the orange petio. If anything, I think it's because it's brand new leaf though, this looks more orange. But if you look at how they sort of harden off, I don't think it's quite as orange as these. Oh, you know what? Similar though. Hang on a minute. Let me just do some magic right here. Can you see the two different petioles? God, it's not far off though, is it? They're both pretty orange. Really orange. I can't remember what color petioles Hercules has. Obviously you do because you've seen a picture, but as a film in this, I deliberately haven't looked it up because I just thought it'd be more interesting. But yeah, that's where you can see there. I try and tilt these two here. There's a leaf of the billy and there's a leaf of the hybrid. So you can see it's been flattened out. The lobes have definitely gone, but we've got left a lovely plant. And let me tell you, it's tough. So if you're bored of seeing this or you want something a bit stouter, this is a lovely alternative to go for. Honestly, I think this is a lovely plant. A lovely, lovely plant. Now I thought I'd bought more of these in, right? And I can't remember guys, because I got these in a long time ago. I've only seen one. That's not to say that there weren't more. I don't know if I sold them or what. I actually have not a clue. I can't have got more than five in. I must have got way less in. Maybe I bought one, maybe I bought two. I don't know, answers on a postcard. Whatever I said I bought in, I bought in. But it's just done so, so well. I can't even begin to tell you. Hang on a minute. Something growing in with that. There is, you know. What is that? Guys, something's growing with it. Something is growing with it. What is that? I never noticed this. So this here is, it's, I think it's from a Colocasia for <laughs> the pot. Let me show you this really quick. I've just found this. Okay, can you see this? I've just found this growing from... <sighs> Can I tilt it? Probably not. This thing here is not, it's not an aerial root. I thought it was. It's a bit of colocasia <laughs> and I haven't noticed. Great, love that. Anyway, so this guy is great. He's really surprised me. He's really surprised me and I haven't seen him be produced or anything. I don't think he took off, which is a bit of a shame. I'm only saying it because I bought this months ago and I haven't seen anything of him. Maybe it has, I don't know, but I don't think he's taken off. The other two I feel might. I feel might. I definitely love the Sharonia hybrid and I definitely love the, where did I put him? He's all the way over there. The Choco hybrid is cute as well, but there's not enough love for this guy. This guy's really nice. It obviously depends on what you want, but it's a very, very pretty hybrid. So I'll pop him down. Colocasia and all. And I'd like to, at this point, thank you for watching this video, guys. It's short one. Is it short? It's short enough. Yeah. Short and sweet. I just wanted to show you sort of the way that I think certain things are going with hybrid and stuff like that for next year. And I think this is a lot of people's answer to TC because there's always going to be TC, but there's always going to be something else that pops in to sort of supplement it, right? And I think, I think this is just some of the stuff that the growers are dabbling with. And I'm very, very excited. This floats my boat quite a lot. I would love to see two plants crossed together. If you have any plants that you think would just be great crossed together, whether they can or not, doesn't really matter. Please do let me know in the comments if you can think of a really good hybrid. Because if I had to think of one, ooh, I don't know. That's a tough one, actually. I can't even think of one on the spot because I'd, I'd damn, I actually don't know where to cross. Maybe a spiritus and ooh, what if 
all right, my submission, based not based on whether you actually can do it or not. Spiritus, Spiritus Sancti, Phil Denver Spiritus Sancti, crossed with something velvety, right? Something like a choco, like choco red. So it's Spiritus, but it's long and it's velvety and it's got a bit red to it. And Spiritus has red anyway, so that you'd keep the red. Imagine that, guys. Oof, that'd be really nice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this extra video, guys. I'm going to have some lunch now because I'm absolutely starving. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye.